Hey, what's up my fellow dropshippers? In today's video, I wanna show you a little instructions on how to set up the AutoDS, which is a dropshipping software I use for Facebook and eBay. Some of you have asked me to do it, so I decided, hey, let's just make a video and have a content for my YouTube channel. So here's the video. I'm gonna show you how to set it up for Facebook Marketplace, but this software also works with eBay and Shopify, for example, if you're into it. I use eBay dropshipping and I do Facebook Marketplace dropshipping as well. So this is why I like this software because I can combine these two you know, business models in one program. I don't have to have two separate programs to do that which is great because you know I don't like having to pay so many so much money for different subscriptions so many different programs so I like simplification I like having everything in one place I know there are other softwares for dropshipping especially for Facebook dropshipping and hey if you're using something else that's fine as well look just use whatever you think is good for you use whatever you feel you know that it's working you don't have to use AutoDS I like it because I combine my two businesses in one place and I I also like their team i know what they're doing i've been working with autodes for a year and i've seen like the the way they change and upgraded and became better and bigger i just stick to it works great for my businesses what the program does is basically for facebook and for ebay as well so what the program does is basically it's tracking and repricing items from your suppliers there's a change in inventory of the change price on on your supplier website the software will change that on the on ebay or facebook this is fully automated on ebay it's not fully automated on Facebook Marketplace yet, but this is gonna change because Facebook is implementing some changes. And also AutoDS, people told me that they're gonna implement this in the near future as well. So there's gonna be a full automation. So what I do most of the time with this program, I use it to list my items and track every you know price and inventory. Without the further ado, let me start the video. I'm gonna go to my computer and show you how to set it up. Just two requests that I have from you. First one, join our Facebook group. The link is in the description and this is the logo of the group as well. Second thing, let me know if you like AutoDS and what is your opinion about it. Put a comment below and I will read it and this is helpful to me. This is helpful to the developer because then they can improve. So it's really cool. And then like the video, subscribe to my channel and let me start the instructions right now. All right, so to start with, you're gonna need two things. First, you will have to create an account obviously so you're gonna go to this website and i would suggest using my link affiliate link they have under this video because if you see they say that they give you seven day trial for one dollar with my link you will get 30 days for a for a month so i would suggest using mine because you just get a better deal uh so once you're here you're gonna click on start now and you will just have to fill out the information you know put your email and then your password etc the second thing you're gonna need you're gonna have to download their extension it's called AutoDS helper i think that's the name there are two AutoDS extensions but the one i'm talking about is called AutoDS helper i'm gonna show you how to do it so basically go to google and type in google extension store and click on the link so open up the google extensions and just type in AutoDS. And as I said, the one we are looking for is called AutoDS Dropshipping Helper. That's the one we are looking for. This one is for Facebook Dropshipping. So you're gonna click on it. And right here, it would say install. I already have it on my computer. That what says that why it, it says remove, but um, yeah, you just click install and download it onto your Chrome. Once you have your extension ready, it will show up here in the corner, just like I do have it. Now all you have to do is just click on it and then fill out the basic information. So it will ask you what type of store are you using. So I have Facebook and then it will ask you for region and what type of suppliers are you using. I'm using uh, Walmart, so that's what I have. I'm not sure what is this one for, so I just leave it empty. All right, so I went back to AutoDS and this is the main dashboard. So I have my extension, I have created my account. And this is what this is what the dashboard looks like and uh, at the moment you can do a few things you can add products right which i'm gonna go over in a second and once you add products you'll be basically able to track your inventory so if i go to my products for example i can see my items right here right and um i'm able to access them by you know just clicking it takes me directly to my item on my supplier website of well, before we do anything you have to set up some basic settings okay so go ahead and click here on settings 
and establish some basic rules. So for example, put the default quantity that you want your software to set up your items. I just put five by default. So whenever I list a new item, I want the quantity to be five. Um, your country, uh, shipping method. I really didn't, I don't really know what it's, what is this thing doing? So I just left this as it is cheapest with tracking. Usually if I, I only change the settings that I understand. If I don't understand the setting, I just don't touch it. So I just left it as it is. You can put the default city. I put LA, uh, make sure to name the template. So you can just call it default or I don't know, maybe template one, template two or something like that. Then go ahead to pricing and set up your pricing strategy. So for example, uh, put the fees. So Facebook has 5% fees. That's why I have 5% and an additional profit. Um, you know, I start with 25, 25% and I would suggest for you to do the same. Then you can also add extra rules. Like for example, you can add one extra dollar. So you want to charge 25% up plus extra dollar. So, uh, you know, you can play with the rules. I honestly would just leave it as a 25 and, and that's just like my personal belief about this. It also depends on the item, like high ticket items. They usually have lower percentages. So maybe something like 19 or 17 would be more accurate for the higher ticket for the higher ticket items. But for something smaller, 25 would work better. It depends on item. Um, but by default, I will leave 25. All right, after pricing, what do you wanna do? You wanna set up the template. The template is basically a listing template. So you, you tell the system what type of information you wanna transfer from the supplier website. So let me show you what I mean. So this, this is my default template, okay? And what I have, I have a title because I want a title in it. I want a description on the item specifications product dimensions and then I add this sentence right here that I only ship to 24 uh, states so that's like my basic template that I use but if you want to create something like this what you have to do is let me start from the scratch so you see right here in the top it tells you what type of information you can transfer so you can put title okay you can put description you can put store name main image with tag don't use that because you can put images in the description of the Facebook. So I don't know why they have it here. I think it's meant for like eBay. So don't do that. Um, product dimensions, item specifications. And then I had that sentence before. Uh, I just don't have a copy, but you know, it says something like I only ship to 48 states, blah, blah, blah. You know, rewind the video. You will, you will see the exact wording. All right, so once you have your template ready, what you have to do, you have to put items in and I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. So I found this item, right, on AutoDS. And what I have to do is, because I have the extension downloaded already, all I need to do is just click import to AutoDS, okay? And this item will show up in my drafts. Or you can do it the other way. You can just copy the link, okay? Once you copy the link, Go back to AutoDS, click on Add Products, and then just paste the link. You can upload multiple listings at a time. You don't have to just put one. So for example, let's use this microphone. And then uh, let's see what else. Let's let's find one more item. Let's 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 pick this thing, okay? So you can copy this as well and put it. And that way you will put two items at a time. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? Next. So this is the next step. So make sure the automation price, stock and order are tracked. Basically what this does is, is whenever there's item out of stock or change in price, you will get an email notification saying, hey, there's a change in price. Maybe you should go and adjust it on Facebook. So make sure that this is all on. I wouldn't really worry about this settings. So just leave it as it is and tags. So Facebook is recently going away from tags. They're going to stop using it. Some users completely don't have tags because apparently they don't really matter. What matter is the title and the item description. So don't worry about the tags, just leave it blank because they're gonna go away soon. All right, on the pricing, you can use the settings that you set up before. That's what I went to settings and set up the default rule. Remember five, 5% five and then 90% additional profit. 
or 25. I have 19 because I usually tend to list like expensive items. As, as I said, the high, the more expensive items they have a little bit lower margins, but uh, you can also uncheck it and you can set it up individually. Depending on your item, you can just set up all the list of items because in this case, I'm uploading two items. You can set up specific rules just for these two items. So you can, you know, change it a little bit. You can change it to 25, for example. Okay, so these two items are gonna be priced 25% more. Again, this is something that you can also edit, but I already set up the default settings. Remember, I set up LA and United States as my country. But you can edit this, you can change it to, I don't know, New York, for example. Click next. And then you're gonna have three options. But the one I suggest is click on add as a draft because uh, you wanna add a few more things. Let me show you what I mean. So now I get a message that my items are being proceed to the draft. And once they're in the draft, I will show you how you can edit images, description, etc. All right, so here are my drafts, right? And remember, I, I uploaded this, this microphone from here. Remember, I just clicked on this button right here. So the microphone is here. And what I can do is now I can edit this. So for example, this is where I can edit the title and add more, you know, title optimization. So for example, wired dynamic microphone for karaoke, for example. I mean, I haven't really put many thoughts to it, but this is just an example. You know, I think that this can be used for karaoke because it's a microphone and it looks like a cheap microphone. So I would assume that most people will use for karaoke. All right, so again, you can put tags, but they are becoming less and less meaningful, and eventually they will go away, so I don't really care about tags. Brand, it's fine. I make sure that it says it's monitoring, you know, price, stock, etc. This is where you can edit description. Uh, so what do you have to do? Just click on edit product description, and then you can, you know, delete stuff. Or add stuff and then you're gonna go to variant and in the variant you can if there are multiple variants for example if there are I don't know multiple colors of an item or maybe different sizes this is where you can delete them if you don't want to have multiple variants in just one or you know you can edit them you can edit individual prices for each variant so um, that's that's what the variant stands for lastly we have images this is where you pick which images you want. So if you want to delete an image, you just click on it and then click delete. You can also um, rotate images if you want. Uh, an important thing about this is the images are being stored. The, the, this is how the image process works. So the image is taken from your supplier website, removes the metadata from it. So it doesn't say it's from Walmart or Amazon, whatever and put it on the AutoDS server. And then from the AutoDS server is being downloaded to your Facebook. So this is really cool because remember, I, I used to talk that like, I don't want any metadata on my on my images. That way we can, we can remove the metadata because they stored on AutoDS server and they removed the metadata from, from Walmart. I confirmed this with their CEO. That's what he told me and I believe him. All right, so once you finish editing your, your draft, all you have to do is click on save and import. And again, I've got a message that my microphone is being processed, proceed and it's gonna show up in my products right here. So products is basically your inventory. It shows you what items are you have, what's the availability, uh, if, you know, you can track the price changes here. This is what product stands for. This is where you can track all your inventory. So right now I'm still waiting for the microphone to show up. Eventually it's gonna be here. You can track how quickly the items are being proceed he right here. So I see that it's still, it's actually said it's completed. So let me back up to products. Maybe my microphone is gonna be here. All right, so micro my microphone is in. So what I can do now I can um, open it up, right? And once I'm in the edit section right here in this inventory, I will show you how I can add this to my Facebook profile, to my Facebook marketplace. So you're gonna click on edit just like I did, right? So this is how I enter it. I click here and click edit. 
and once you're here make sure you go to variant okay and once you're in the variant and you have installed the extension you have to have the google extension installed you're gonna have this button right here so i'm gonna click on this button because this button is it's basically a copy so i'm gonna copy it okay and now i'm gonna go to facebook marketplace once you are in the facebook marketplace click on create new listing right here and then we're gonna click on items for sale okay so i this is the create new listing tab and you see i have this button right here on the top this button will show up once you have your extension on and i do have it on so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna click paste from AutoDS. once i click on it it's gonna take a few seconds to upload all the information i imported and they're gonna go automatically from from here to here so watch right here i got a message that the process has started so now all i have to do is just wait i let it do the magic you can see that the title got in the description got in the images got in so all the information is here right um and then all you have to do is just finish it up next shipping only free shipping next i don't want to do any offers click next and just click publish one more thing that i want to show you real quick so you can set up in the settings you can add users and when you add users is basically the way to add a va virtual assistant so if you have a va and you want them to upload items for you or maybe in the future um, fulfill orders throughout to the because that's going to be available pretty soon you can click on add user and once you're there you just set up the name for that user email password and you can set up the the permissions you want to give this person so you know you can tell them to have access to pretty much anything or just limit access to the features you just want them to use now AutoDS is still growing I use AutoDS for both eBay and Facebook dropshipping their eBay dropshipping platform is pretty good it's pretty automated uh, and it's not connected through API which is important that means that a, the eBay cannot track you if you're using this software for Facebook they are still growing because this is still a kind of a new thing however I spoke to to the CEO of this company I actually have a video on my channel about it if you want to watch it with with the guy and he told me that they have a lot of plans they're gonna add more automation they're gonna add trackings they're gonna add automatic repricing and out of and tracking out of stock items so you don't have to go and add change that manually it's gonna the software is gonna do it for you and these changes are coming pretty pretty soon so if you're looking for a software that allows you to do repricing that allows you to give access to your va to list items for you without having any problems like they are coming from different countries so you know you don't have to use vpn you don't have to give them a remote access to your computer they can just do it through AutoDS. All right, that will be it for today. I hope you find this very valuable. Again, subscribe to my channel so we'll stay updated on everything related to Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, eBay dropshipping, any of the other sort of dropshipping and side hustles. Join our group. If you want to use AutoDS, I have an affiliate link below. This affiliate link will give you 30 days for $1. Usually they give you 7 days for $1, but with my link you will get 30. And, and I'll see you on the next one, okay?